Here's what your favorite drive through order could be lurking in. It's no secret that fast food is not considered exactly healthy. Research has shown for years that these fast-serve mass-produced cost-effective meals are linked to an increased risk of various health conditions including weight gain, heart disease, diabetes, and depression. But apart from the average menu options high calorie, fat, cholesterol, sodium, sugar, and carb content fast food meals are likely to contain other not so obvious ingredients that can cause further health concerns. And if you are watching Rich Flava for the first time, hit the subscribe and bell button to get all our updates. Fluorine. According to research published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology Letters, per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, also called PFASs, are fluorine-based chemicals in fast food food packaging associated with cancer, fertility issues, low birth weight, and a weakened immune system. After studying more than 400 containers and food wrappers from fast food chains around the country, the chemists discovered that 20% of French fry cardboard sleeves, 38% of burger and sandwich wrappers, and 56% of dessert and bread wrappers contained fluorine, which coated the packaging materials to repel grease and water. PFASs have been linked to many health effects including cancer. Children are particularly at risk because their developing bodies are more vulnerable to toxic chemicals. In fact, a report released this week by advocacy groups revealed that PFA's chemicals remain lurking in food packaging, and nearly half of their samples tested above the recommended screening levels, specifically McDonald's Big Mac, Burger King's Whopper, and Sweet Greens salads and warm bowls. Exposure to PFAs is of particular concern in the context of COVID-19 since it is linked to the suppression of the immune system and to chronic conditions that increase the severity of COVID-19, according to the Safer Chemicals, Healthy Families campaign. Natural flavor of beef. According to the restaurant website, McDonald's world-famous fries are made with natural beef flavor, which contains hydrolyzed wheat and hydrolyzed milk as starting ingredients. Back in 2002, CBS News reported that McDonald's Corporation had settled a group of lawsuits for the labeling of their vegetarian fries and hash browns even though they were enhanced with vegetable oil beef. The FDA outlines that any food labeled with the term, natural flavoring, means, essential oil, oleoresin, essence or extractive, protein hydrolysate, distillate, or any product containing the flavoring of roasting, heating or enzymolysis, should come from a variety of foods. So what exactly is in the beef flavor if the ingredient list does not include beef? Potassium bromate, sometimes simply referred to as bromate, this additive is thrown into recipes to enhance the texture and rising of flour, while in the baking process it gets used up. If the appropriate amount is used, some may remain in the finished product if too much is included in a recycle. While some fast food chains in the U.S. have reportedly found it in sandwich buns and pizza doughs, potassium bromate is banned in Canada, the United Kingdom, and the European Union due to animal studies that found a possible link to cancerous tumors. The FDA encourages U.S. bakers to choose not to use bromated flours, and laws in the state of California require potassium bromate products to disclose the potential cancer link on the label. If you only have that particular food item once in a very high time, the hazard is likely to be minimal. However, if it is a more common part of your diet, consider an alternative. Propylene glycol. The FDA defines propylene glycol as an anti-caking agent as a colorless compound that does not occur in nature. It is used in food to preserve texture, in particular, to prevent the drying out of moist foods, and acts as a solvent for flavors and colors. Deemed by the FDA to be, generally recognized as safe, gras, it is added to soft drinks, marinades, dressings, seasonings, baked goods, frosting, and frozen dairy products to name but a few, but the agency recommends that users do not exceed, current good manufacturing practice. While documented toxicity is rare, there are potential health risks with high intakes of foods that contain it especially in people with liver and kidney problems, because of how the body processes this compound, he said. In spite of its gras status, it should be noted that propylene glycol is also used in non-food products, cosmetics, antifreeze, and ice packs, which are not particularly appealing. TBHQ. In order to prevent spoilage in oils and fats, fried meals and snacks found in fast food restaurants are likely to contain preservative tertiary butyl hydroquinone, or TBHQ. 
However, two studies indicate that this common FDA-approved ingredient could lead to possible complications in health. Research published in the journal Food Bioscience stated that TBHQ could alter the positive effects of probiotics good bacteria that support a healthy gut flora, a finding that they could subsequently affect human health. An animal study published in the FASEB Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology journal found that this food additive could impair the immune response of the body to influenza. Calcium sulfate another anti caking agent and dough reinforcer. This colorless ingredient used in rolls and baked goods gives some calcium to foods, states Cording. There are restrictions on how much can be used in U.S. food to maintain safe intake limits. That said, there are concerns about excessive calcium intake in certain medical conditions, particularly in additional form. While the occasional splurge should not affect your well-being. Plus, you may be interested in knowing that a version of this ingredient is added to building products, such as tiles and plaster. While the form found in food is not the same as the calcium sulfate used in building materials, it certainly does not sound like something you want to eat regularly. Additives to phosphates Soda, flavored waters, packaged meat, processed cheese and chicken nuggets are just a handful of foods that are likely to contain this food additive, which comes from the mineral phosphorus and is designed to enhance favor and act as an emulsifier. However, even healthy people who end up with high levels of phosphorus in the blood may be at risk of adverse effects on bone health and heart health. While most of the available research concerns kidney health, studies are being conducted to investigate the impact of high intake and poor bone health and cardiovascular problems. Research published in the journal Circulation concluded that both animals and humans became less physically active when increased phosphate levels were present in the blood. But there are plenty of other reasons to limit foods that commonly contain phosphate additives such as soda, packaged meats, and processed foods, this is just one more concern to add to the list. BHT Butylated hydroxytoluene is a chemical that has been created in the laboratory and used to preserve freshness in the food. The amounts used in food are generally considered safe, although animal studies have shown potential linkage to some large dose cancers. Although this additive has been removed from the list of ingredients by many food companies, the FDA still approves small amounts of BHT in foods, including dry yeast, desserts, beverages, dressings, mayo, sauces and sandwich spreads as well as numerous potato items. Propyl gallet Propyl gallet is an artificial ingredient in corn products, meat products, and mayonnaise, a food preservative used to delay food spoilage and extend shelf life in oils. Yet a study published in the Drug and Chemical Toxicology Journal indicates that this additive can affect cancer cells. And this product is also found in cosmetics, lubricants, and hair products according to Contact Dermatitis Institute. Phthalate Food packaging has been a continuing concern as the chemicals used in the processing materials can flow into the meals. George Washington University researchers looked at the health data from more than 10,200 adults spanning nine years. Participants were asked to record all they ate, together with where the food came from every 24 hours. The authors learned that burgers and sandwiches purchased in fast food restaurants and cafeterias were associated with higher phthalate levels, about 30%. Take-home boxes, plastic containers and gloves used in food preparation tend to contain this group of chemicals that have been shown to be endocrine disruptors, substances that cause hormonal imbalances and can lead to multiple disorders and diseases including thyroid problems, reproductive problems, prostate cancer and breast cancer. Don't forget to give us a thumb up and tell us what do you think in the comment section, for more info check the links in description below. See you next video.